Hey everyone, so it's um, now Thursday. Um, I know last night I said I wasn't sure whether I would do a vlog today or not, but I am doing a short one um, because as um, those of you who watched yesterday's vlog will know that um, I said today we were off to the hospital with our youngest son for his appointment for getting his um, chest brace. So we've now got that. The appointment went really well. Um, he tried his chest brace on um, in the appointment and the um, consultant and orth orthotist, orthotist, I can never say that word. Someone tell me how to say it, please. Um, they, anyway, they were both very pleased and happy um, with how well the chest brace um, seemed to work just when he tried it on. Um, so he's, he's now gone back to school, that was his choice. So basically he's got to wear the chest brace for, um, he's got to build up to wearing it for, um, if he can manage it, 23 hours a day. Um, minimum is 16 hours. So today he's got to wear it for one to two hours, which he'll do when he gets home from school. And then he's got to increase wearing it then by two hours each day. So obviously tomorrow will be three to four hours. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would do this to show you what his oh, chest brace actually looks like. Um, so this is how it looks. It's difficult to show you. So can you see the ratchets there on both sides? So this bit, this pad here um, will actually go on his back. Now if you look, you can see the indentation on both sides. That's so that they will actually sit underneath his shoulder blades and then this bit here, so this, this pad, if I turn it round, oops, so this pad here um, will actually, that's the pad that goes here on his sternum, which will um, work by gently pushing the sternum inwards and obviously if he's got the pad on, on his back as well in the same place, they will both um, gently push inwards and then with the the ratchets here, these, oops, wrong side, these ratchets here, um, as you can see, they've got the, um, the ratchet, <laughs> um, so that means he can actually, he has control over how tight um, the brace is when he has it on, because obviously as it starts to work, he will be able to make it a bit smaller. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, the reason why he's got this um it's actually, it's a custom made brace um, and the reason he's got this is because he was diagnosed um, in February of this year with a condition called pectus carinatum, which I did do a very short um, video about it um, quite a few months ago, which I only put onto Twitter, I didn't put onto YouTube, um, but basically Pectus carinatum literally translates to pigeon chest um, and it's more common in boys than girls and I can actually give you some facts because the when we went to the hospital they gave us um, some information about it and um, it's, it's a structural abnormality of the sternum um, surrounding cartilage which results in a sharp angle protruding from the chest. So in simple English, it's basically where um, the cartilage under the sternum grows too much and it pushes the, stern the sternum outwards. Um, and it's actually more common in boys than girls. And it does tend to happen um, during growth spurts. This is what happened with our son. Um, I noticed it September of last year and it was when he'd had a, a huge growth spurt. And um, then it does seem to get worse, I think, the more growth spurts they have. So his now is actually quite bad. Um, and it, it only actually affects one in 400 people. So um, as you can see, it is quite, you know, it's relatively rare, really. So, yeah, the way this brace works is it, it basically works like a brace for your teeth, which is why you've got to wear it for so many hours a day, because it gently pushes the sternum in as a brace would with the teeth. So um, the only other um, way to actually sort it is through surgery, which would be incredibly invasive. So obviously that wouldn't, that's just a, a horrible, no, just wouldn't even want to do that for him. 
So, um, yeah, we've got the brace and then we've been given some information on how to gradually build up in build up wearing it um, and yeah we've got to go back again in two months time so we can have a check up to see how he's getting on with it and um, how well it's working so yeah that was our morning and um, we have waited for a while to get to this stage but the NHS have been absolutely fantastic and um, if I could give the who you know the person who actually you know who runs the NHS a huge thank you I would too because they have just been amazing all of them and you know as a parent when your child has when you they're diagnosed with something that's rare that you've never heard of before it is a worrying time um but they have just all been absolutely fantastic so thank you to everybody at the NHS you do an amazing job and I do think you don't get thanked enough for what you do for us all so um yeah he will start wearing this when he gets home from school today and i will give you updates um as as we go on because he has to wear this for 23 hours a day if he can for two years um so it's going to be a long process and um i will at points give you updates i won't do it too much because i don't want to bore you all um but yeah i just wanted to let you know what it all was i'm sorry this has been such a rambling tweet tweet not tweet, such a rambling vlog, um, but I just thought I wanted to share it with you all because it is it is a rare thing and if people are aware of it, um, then it's something that can um, hopefully be sorted for people because once you get into adulthood and you finish growing, the chest brace isn't an option, it doesn't work because the bones still have to be flexible enough for the, the brace to actually work and press on it. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope it has been informative for you all and not too boring. And I apologise for my ramblingness and um, it being a very talky vlog this time. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next one. I'm not sure when it will be. It won't be tomorrow, maybe on Saturday. But until then, see you later.